It's been heralded by some as the best wireless speaker of 2022 already, but can the Sonos Faber Omnia really rival the stiff competition? Let's find out. Welcome back guys to another video from the SHS studio. Now I've got the all new Omnia wireless speaker from Italian audio company Sonos Faber in front of me here. Now this has already received some outstanding reviews on the internet, including a What Hi5 five star review. So we're very excited to finally get our hands on it and see whether it lives up to what we've come to expect from Sonos Faber. So let's kick off with the brand itself then, because this forms part of the story behind this product. Now, Sonos Faber is a luxury Italian manufacturer of handcrafted speakers, headphones, and other high-end audio equipment based in Italy. Now, they were founded in 1983, and their products have been used on Riva yachts, uh, in Maserati and Pagani supercars, and lots more. So there is a lot of heritage behind the brand, and clearly a level of luxury involved too. This Omnia is Sonos Faber's first step into a wireless product like this, and I'm so glad they've joined this market to attract customers who love the convenience of wireless control, but also appreciate top-tier sound quality. It's supplied as an all-in-one home audio system for $15.99, so it's certainly in the higher price bracket, so we definitely want to find out if it's truly worth it. Now, it's available in walnut, like the one we've got here, or a graphite finish, which will follow in the summer of 2022. Now, I have to say, from first impressions, both look really premium. Design is at the forefront of any Sonos Faber products, and they certainly have the Italian flair. So let's take a look at the spec and how you can use this speaker. So this speaker can be controlled by Bluetooth Aptex Qualcomm, AirPlay 2, Spotify Connect, Tidal Connect, Rune Support, Google Chromecast, and even Siri and Google Assistant integration. Now there's no uh, native app, and that is deliberate because in Sonos Faber's research, they found that systems which did use an app, actually users tended to prefer streaming via Spotify Connect, Tidal Connect, and AirPlay 2 and Bluetooth anyway. So if we just take a look at the back of the speaker, you've got connections for your HDMI eARC. So this can actually double up as a sound bar for your TV. And as it's eARC, your remote control will actually take over the volume of the system, whichever source you're on. You also have a line in with a mini DIN switchable phono input. And yes, you did hear that right. This is a wireless speaker with a moving magnet phono stage built in. So that means you can connect up to a turntable or CD player. And it's great that Sonos Faber have given customers this option right out of the box without needing to spend extra on additional equipment to make their turntables work with the system. Now this is a rarity these days, and it's a great option for those of you who are maybe wanting to move from a large hi-fi setup consisting of a turntable, and you still want to use vinyl replay. Now before I chat about the product itself, I actually want to show you the box that it came in. Um, Louis, do you mind just passing that over quickly? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, okay, I didn't realize it was that big. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> right, give me a second. I just need to get this out the sleeve, which might be easier said than done. So one of the things I noticed was this little paragraph on the outside of the box here that states, you're about to experience natural sound. Since 1983, Sonos Faber's artisans have been handcrafting loudspeakers, combining the finest materials that nature has to offer with cutting edge technology and authentic Italian design. Our mission is simple, seamlessly merge beauty and function to create the most natural sound on earth. Welcome to the Sonos Faber family. Now, I love that. It's clear that Sonos Faber are wanting to create a natural experience for the listener, and that is key for a premium audio system, especially a wireless one. Now, once you do actually get it out of the box, by the way, the setup instructions can be found using the QR code on the manual. You can set it up using Apple Home or Google Home. Um, you will also notice the striking design, as this is one of the most enticing features of the Omnia. Coming in at 65 centimeters wide, it's pretty clear that this is best used as a centerpiece speaker, one that you'd proudly position in the middle of your room, maybe on the center of a console table, perhaps. On first impressions, I do think this is quite reminiscent of the hugely popular Bowers & Wilkins Zeppelin, just cut in half. Um, due to the shape of it. But I have to say one of the most distinctive design features of the Omnia is that upon unboxing it, 
you're greeted with these lights on the top of the unit that dim and pulse depending on your controls. Now don't worry guys, for those of you who aren't so keen on the lights, they can be turned off as well. This light will change as you raise or lower the volume using these little uh, dots here. Um, and the smaller light on the front here actually changes color dependent on what source you're using. So blue for Bluetooth, green for Spotify, purple for Rune, and so on. This button also doubles up as a way of changing sources. So you don't need to rely on the remote control that is supplied in the box, which by the way, here it is. Um, this is probably the cheapest part of the Omnia package, although it is perfectly functional and ergonomic in your hand. I think Sonos Faber have done a wonderful job with the craftsmanship of the Omnia. I love the real wood surface on the top here, although I did have to ask the guys at Sonos Faber the question, can you actually put anything on the top? And the answer was a very resounding no. Right then guys, I think it's time to move on to this sound quality. So let's start with taking a look at what's inside the Omnia. So you get a total of seven drivers consisting of 0.75 inch silk dome tweeters, a 6.5 inch downward firing aluminium cone woofer, three inch paper pulp mid-range drivers, and then two more 1.75 inch drivers pointing sideways, which improves the width of the soundstage. All of this amounting to a total of 490 watts amplification with a claimed frequency response of 30 hertz to 25 kilohertz. So really, it's an absolute powerhouse. The Omnia will also support high res files, so this will really complement those of you with premium music subscriptions that support a higher resolution. Now I will explain more about the sound quality after the demo, but the things I'd really like you to look out for is the crystal clear vocals, the smooth bass and the mid range, and the spaciousness of the sound. So make sure you grab your headphones for this one or a suitable speaker to listen on to get the most out of this demo. Can't wait to show you, roll the tape. Is it good? Incredible, yeah. One of the best speakers I've ever heard. One of the most impressive things about the Omnia is the sense of presence that you get from the music. Now, I listen to all sorts of genres on the Omnia, ranging from rock to electronic to classical to jazz and a bit of soul, and it performed remarkably well across all of those genres, even at higher volumes where you'd expect some distortion, but it just never came. Close your eyes and honestly, guys, you'll truly believe you're listening to the artists themselves, conveying every emotional element of the recording. In addition, I think the vocals are some of the best vocals I've heard on an all-in-one wireless speaker and really something that I'd expect from a high-end hi-fi setup. Now, if you've heard of Sam Fender, he did an exceptional cover of Sad But True by Metallica and boy, it's rare that I listen to tracks in full when I'm demoing them, but I just couldn't turn it off. Highly recommend that one. Honourable mentions also go to Rivers by Leon Bridges for the clarity of the tambourines and Gregory Porter's Hey Laura for the vocals. And this vocal clarity, by the way, also carries over into TV listening, which is another big plus for the Omnia. 
Although it only supports stereo in terms of TV codecs, as it has those sideways firing drivers, they have what's called a crescendo setting, which is an advanced DSP system, resulting in a great sense of dimensionality and immersion, and makes use of those full range side speakers. Now this really helps with how dynamic and wide the soundstage is compared to the competition. The shape of the Omnia with the flat panel on the top really complements the addition of the HDMI eARC. So if you want to position the Omnia in the same place as the soundbar and you don't want separate systems, this will also enhance the audio from your TV dramatically. I think the overall goal for sound quality from this product is to emulate having a dedicated stereo pair of speakers. So the sound is bounced off the walls in the room, which brings you closer to a live performance and ultimately what every speaker strives for at the end of the day. To get the absolute best potential out of the Omnia, Sonos Faber have told us that there's roughly a 100 hour run-in period so the drivers can flex, stretch and move in and out properly. I'd also highly recommend checking out the Sonos Faber settings which you can access by entering the serial number into your web browser. Here you can set things like power sleep timers, uh, volume limits, you can enable or disable that crescendo setting and tell Omnia whether the speaker is near or far away from a wall. Now I need to mention there's no EQ adjustments as it's already been optimized for the cabinet. It is a great balance for me, but I know there's a lot of you out there who like to tweak the EQ. So that is something to bear in mind if you're that type of person. So I think there are two main types of customer for the Sonos Faber Omnia. Those who already have wireless gear like Sonos, Bose, etc., but want to continue their journey into the world of hi-fi sound while still remaining wireless and those who are perhaps downsizing from hi-fi in exchange for wireless convenience, but still want that hi-fi quality sound. The Sonos Faber Omnia is a meeting ground for where hi-fi listeners meet Wi-Fi listeners. Now, I was proud of that sentence, I must admit, but it is true. Now, obviously, hi-fi sound with wireless convenience is great to have, but the design of the Omnia isn't gonna be for everybody, not to mention the price of 1,599 pounds, may well be out of many people's budget, and yes, you can achieve better quality sound by putting together your own list of separate hi-fi components, but that is missing the point of what the Omnia is about. Omnia is for people who don't want that hassle of hi-fi, but miss the hi-fi quality sound. It has to be said that 1599 to achieve near hi-fi quality sound from a one box solution is the tip of the iceberg compared to the endless and extremely expensive world of hi-fi separates. And part of your money is going towards the sheer craftsmanship of the Omnia and how many years this will last you. Being Wi-Fi enabled too, it will get better over time. So if there's an improvement that Sonos Faber wants to make, they can deliver it to you as a free software update. Overall, it's clear that this is a statement speaker. I think the chances of it blending into your environment is fairly slim. So you'll want to proudly display this in a prominent area of your home. For those of you who have the budget available but want a smaller hi-fi package or second system but still want high quality performance from a relatively compact solution then this should definitely be on your list. The Omnia is landing by the 22nd of March 2022 available to pre-order on our website or it's already available depending on when you're watching this video. So feel free to take advantage of our 30 day listen better promise and try it out for yourself. Also Sonos Farber give you a three year warranty, uh, which is great peace of mind as well. Link to the product is in the description below and the QR code is here if you wanna go straight there. So let me know what you guys think. Are you a fan of the design? Would you spend 1599 for this? I would love to know. See you next time.